Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of my Storm fans out there. Your voices were heard. We are going to be playing the winner of today's YouTube poll. You already know based on the title, but if you give me just a few minutes, I'm going to make sure that everybody else knows that we're going to be streaming right now. I'll be right back. Hello and welcome back. Everybody, we are going to play some more Legacy tonight. Um, welcome, everybody. Hello. How are you all doing? Uh, let me check chat really quick. Uh, let's tempt the storm. Yeah, we're going to tempt the storm here. We are, we are definitely going to be storming off tonight. Um, so I'll talk about the list and the changes, but there's no disrespect to LED. It's just not the right place. Peer into the abyss storm, which is what we're going to be playing tonight is just like what it says on the tin. We are going to be using Peer Into the Abyss. Uh, yeah, I, I did. Um, Peer Into the Abyss to draw as many cards as possible, half of our deck, and fill our hand so that we can continue to ritual and cantrip our way through to a win using Tendrils of Agony. So, as you can tell, I've used some particularly interesting card art choices. I'm going to be using the uh, all access token that's on MTGO for a little while, and I figured that I might as well have a little bit of a fun with it. So yeah, four peers. Because we're not playing ad nauseum, we can play cards that have a larger converted mana cost, and we're not playing Infernal Tutor or Wishclaw Talisman, um, 
cards that are good with LED. This is um, this is a, a kind of a mid-range storm deck, if you want to call it that, right? We're not going to be terribly fast. We don't need to be. We are playing four Peer into the Abyss and four the One Ring from the new Lord of the Rings set. Fantastic card. Um, these are going to be kind of the engines. And then we also, because we're not playing Ad Nauseam we, and we have a lot of blue, we are playing Force of Will. We are a Force of Will combo deck, very similar to Doomsday. And actually, this deck in and of itself is very similar to Doomsday. We're looking to resolve one card and then win the game. But unlike Doomsday, we're typically not passing the turn after that. And uh, because of that, it's going to take a little extra mana. But this is uh, pretty solid. We don't have a lot of dead cards. Like, we don't want to draw a Thassa's Oracle. Well, we're not going to have a Thassa's Oracle in the deck. So it's perfectly fine. Um, Sonic disapproves of not going fast. Sonic does disapprove of not going fast. Yes, absolutely. However, what we lack in speed, we make up for in resiliency. So with the force of wills and redundancy for sure, we're playing 12 cantrips, mostly just because we need to increase our blue count for force of will, but we really don't have a lot of weight, right? We have four dress downs, which is potentially the the one card that's the wonkiest. It also could be something like uh, Baleful Strix, but that's pretty bad right now. Um, why no Ad Nauseam? So because we're playing four peer into the abyss um that's where the focus is um this is kind of a, a archetype that prop was propped up when peer into the abyss was printed let's like lean into this very powerful card which is a quote unquote um Bjorn, you did not like the music um let me know if you did not why didn't you like the music um interesting let me know. But Peer into the Abyss is going to be better in this deck than Ad Nauseam is, and we can play it in multiples so we can get rid of the tutors that we needed and just draw everything. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a bunch of four plus cards in the deck. Makes sense. Um, sounds loud in the phones. Oh, I apologize. I can actually change that up a little bit. So I can lower lower the volume okay that might work out let me know so that's really it's a very straightforward lean main deck in the sideboard uh well i mean we get we are playing the one ring let's talk about the one ring really quick four mana artifact indestructible fantastic card if you don't know what this does yet it is a game changer when it comes to the formats that it's seeing play in but this is also a really powerful draw engine that can come out early and change the game very quickly. So this is what our early game kind of looks like, um, especially since we're adjusting the speed with which this storm deck plays. The one ring and the protection that it gives us can function to bring the game into a mid game where we are able to combo. Um, so turn four, turn three, turn four, where we're getting our mana under us and we're getting everything set up. On turn two or three, we can deploy the one ring, maybe ritual it out, draw some extra cards, replace itself very easily, and not have to worry about thought seizes or lightning bolts or very quick um, uh, murktide regions, things like that. So that's kind of the idea with the one ring in this spot. Uh, this is a new addition and um, kind of looking pretty good. This is, uh, that's the main deck. So let's move on to the sideboard. Because again, we are not an ad nauseum deck. We have a lot more flexibility with the cards that we can bring in. We can bring in Leyline of the Void, which is not something that we were able to do before. We're also able to bring in some thought seizes, some more force of negations, a really, really slept on interaction spell, um, filter out, not an interactive spell, but like a removal spell. This is a bounce spell. Return all non-creature, non-land permanents to their owner's hands. 
for two blue and one. It's an instant. So this gets rid of Chalice of the Void. This gets rid of Blood Moon, Trinisphere. Anything that ails us is just bounced back to our opponent's hand on their end step potentially, and then we can untap and just completely win. So filter out really, really good interact uh, uh, protection, uh, not protection, I'm stumbling around my words today, but it's a great bounce spell for something like Storm that can just untap and kill our opponent before any of those problematic permanents come back. And then we have a little bit of a sideboard juke. We have four copies of Orcish Bowmaster. Everybody's talking about it. We've got to play some ourselves, right? Orcish Bowmasters is the best way to combat Orcish Bowmasters, which, in case you didn't know, we're drawing a lot of cards. So Orcish Bowmasters is our answer to Orcish Bowmasters, which is the best card against us, because we're drawing half of our deck and losing half of our life, and then an additional, you know, 20 to 25 life on top of that once Orcish Bowmasters triggers. So Bowmasters, really solid sideboard plan against the expected hate. We also can play Shieldred, and Shieldred and the One Ring uh, just sing a song together. It is lovely. Um, whenever we draw cards with the One Ring, Shieldred will gain us life. The One Ring loses life, but that is mitigated by the, 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 the gaining of life that Shieldred offers. Plus, it's a 4-5 absolute incredible house on the battlefield so storm not a deck that opponents will expect creatures oftentimes their creatures are going to get boarded out and with the exception of bow masters none of these things can very easily be prismatic endinged which is one of the kind of dual mode removal spells that some car or some decks will bring in or keep in against us right um if we are playing Wishclaw Talisman, or they can snag a Lion's Eye Diamond, two cards that we are not playing here, just so you know. So this is uh, this is pretty fun. I'm excited about this. I've chosen some pretty wild arts just because of the all-access token that MTGO has going on for it. So it's going to look uh, look kind of funky, but I'm kind of into it. There's a little deviation from the norm. I'm already queued up for a league, so I'm going to pull that up right now, and we're going to get started on a league match, and while that is happening, um, if you want to keep track of your storm and things like that, we have an awesome token pack at the epicstorm.com that I'll tell you about after this match because we got paired into it really quickly. So we would like to play first, and we're going to get ready to roll as soon as our opponent decides uh whether they're going to oh okay reveal a companion okay yorion that's likely a blue soup deck now um so this is actually really interesting i think i'm gonna keep this we've got peer into the abyss and rituals to bring it out and then a force of will that will hopefully eventually be protection for it so we're gonna keep this and we are good to go um yeah paul this is uh this is pretty wild we're gonna start out on a polluted delta um we don't need to let them know that we're playing basics just yet could be dnt yes it could be dnt it's less likely to be tnt just because this four color yorion control has been popping off recently it also could be green sun zenith yorion um so there's a lot of things it could be Okay, we really need a, a blue card here. Yeah, the card choices are fun though. You don't need to always play the best cards. Um, sometimes you can play some real wacky choices and have some fun with it. Not gonna do this again, that's for sure. I'm never gonna own these cards, but since I have the all access token, it's pretty fun. Just a different change of pace. Some of these cards, like the Richard Kane Ferguson Force of Will, that's really cool. That's that's really really cool. So, <laughs> no, that's never never not the case. 
Um, am I gonna play the Ottawara? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but Ottawara would allow us to play around days. So I am gonna play it, um, but I'm really looking forward to drawing a blue card. That will allow us to play around days and force of will from our opponent. Uh, oh, our opponent's a Yorion deck. Very unlikely that they're playing days. Um, We'll see what happens. This might be a Teferi, in which case I am the sad because my force of will doesn't do anything. Um, now I can ritual out a force of will, but that's just not gonna work. Um, yeah, I didn't wanna talk about the Narset, but if it was a Narset, I would definitely be forcing. Uh, yeah, Gavin, it is a really cool um, dark ritual. The Oh, they plussed. Oh, they think that we're playing Orcish Bowmasters. Well, we are in the sideboard. So we're going to play dark ritual off of a basic swamp. And another dark ritual. And we can actually re-roll all of this eventually if this doesn't actually end up working. Peer into the abyss, seven mana, targeting ourselves, drawing half of our deck, if it resolves. Oh, it does. Wow, excellent. Um, I probably should have left a black mana floating, but that's fine, we've got lotus petals. Um. Yeah, John, I will uh, work on talking about the the play and everything like that. So we've got Lotus Petals and more Dark Rituals. These are different cards for sure. Uh, I believe we have some Cabal Rituals, which are going to have Threshold as soon as I crack these Lotus Petals. Um, so that's eight in the graveyard and now we have a bunch of threshold available to us um well i just have these brainstorms that's all i've got okay so we can tendrils them and then we have a second tendrils which is nice um to go again if that doesn't work but it was a good enough that turn four win clean magic straight in the face of a teferi All right, so this looks like Jeskai Yorion. Maybe they're playing Hot Bant, um, and we just didn't see green. Not sure, but let's take a look at Orcish Bowmasters and maybe some Shieldreds. I'm not sure. Shieldreds are, are pretty decent, I would say. Um, Orcish Bowmasters, great against that Teferi that we just saw. They're likely playing Narset. Um, as well, which is going to be a problem. Mm, but we have the force of wills for that. Um, well, Paul, we just did. Yeah. Everybody's really upset about Teferi. And, and, well, you don't need to interact on the stack if you're just powering through it and they have nothing. Let's go with minus two peer into the abysses. If we are bringing in Bowmasters and Shieldreds, this is a really good secondary plan. We don't necessarily need to lean as heavily into our primary plan because of that. Um, do I need to bring in all of the Bowmasters? I might not need to. I can take down a Tendrils of Agony. I don't know if I need both of those. And I can potentially shave on the One Ring. We're just kind of transitioning from one plan to another here where the shieldreds are taking the place of one of the one rings and or taking the place of the peer into the abysses and then bowmasters are the one ring and tendrils i think that that's reasonable the other option is we could cut some preordains instead of the one ring and the tendrils let's actually do that let's cut out 
two preordains and peer into the abyss. And we're gonna do that. Two Orcish Bowmasters. We don't need to uh, we don't need to do everything. Best match of TES ever. Is that the mismatch brainstorms kill him now from Cedric? Uh, yeah, I love that game. It's a very good game. Okay. So this is Brainstorm and Prey, but I don't hate that. Even if we miss on mana, we can find something like a Shieldred and then just ritual it out. So I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna ugh, I'm going to keep this, especially on the draw. Hello Alex, how are you doing tonight? You having a good time? So we have two Cabal Rituals, a Lotus Petal, Dark Ritual, Force of Will Brainstorm, and our opponent has started off on Island Ponder. Um, we'll see what happens. Okay. They chose not to shuffle, so they're doing just fine. Another brainstorm. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, this might just be Jeskai. I'm not sure. Um, the Jerk. So Lion's Eye Diamond is not actually played in Peer into the Abyss Storm. It's uh, not a functional card here. Um, so it's not actually strictly replacing it in this deck, but as a storm option, you don't have to play Lion's Eye Diamond if you don't want. You can play this as a, a storm deck that um, you don't need you don't need the uh, Lion's Eye Diamonds for. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to play out this Lotus Petal. They are representing two mana. Oh no, it could be an Orcish Bowmasters. Um, but we can Dark Ritual out our own Bowmasters and kill theirs. So we'll see. We'll just see what happens. Snow-covered mountain. What are we doing here? Pyroblast? Pyroblast it is. Okay. That's okay. That'll all resolve. No worries here. If they land, uh, uh, if they put a Teferi on the stack. Ooh, Saga. All right, then. That's a new one. Uh, not expecting a Saga build here, but Meltdown for just a Lotus Petal. Um, okay. I don't think that I'm going to ritual out a Bowmasters or anything like that. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to let it go. The One Ring. Now, that would be something nice to ritual out. They have a Spell Pierce. Hmm. Okay, well, our opponent is tempoing us out, as it were, um, really constricting our mana development, and we'll see where that takes them. Caracas, okay, Shieldred's not at its greatest right now. Scalding Tarn, that's pretty good. Um, I doubt that they're stream sniping, but I mean, I do have something for that if they are. I have a hand hider eventually, but the hand hider is just using all of these wonky arts, right? Nobody knows what I'm playing. Least of all an opponent that just stopped into the stream. So this is four and then dark ritual or dark ritual makes four mana total with the island. Um, but if I Cabal Ritual and Cabal Ritual, then I can the One Ring, I can cast the One Ring and Orcish Bowmasters. Um, 
I kind of like that. Is it greedy? It might be a little bit greedy, but I think that that's fine. Okay, well, in that case, we're going to play around the spell pierce by casting another ritual and paying for this. And then we get the ritual, and then we can cast the one ring. Okay, so we weren't able to double spell, well, double action, but... We do get the One Ring, which is going to be a fantastic addition to the battlefield for us. We're not going to draw right now. If I need to, um, I can draw for a blue card if that's absolutely necessary. Uh, they could have a Pithing Needle, actually, so I should probably draw. I'll draw now. Another Bowmasters. That's not bad. It's not going to do anything to the Constructs, which is unfortunate, but um, feeling pretty okay about this. They have a Pithing Needle. That is interesting. Okay, so the One Ring is not going to do anything. It's wild they have a Pithing Needle against us. Um, but, eh, whatever. Ponder. Ponder is going to find something. Okay. Mm they chose to not shuffle. They have one card in hand. We're going to start losing life to these constructs as well as to the One Ring. Dark Ritual. Okay. So this is pretty cool. We can Dark Ritual out a suite of Bowmasters and play it in such a way that we wipe one of these constructs off the board. So if we Ritual it out, Orcish Bowmasters, ping one of them, if they both attack, we will be able to um, do pretty all right. Yeah, they did talk about Spell Pierce and the One Ring. I believe that was yesterday. Came out yesterday or today. I don't know. Oh, Jason. Hello. Oh, congratulations. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday, I suppose. But that's pretty exciting. Um, okay, Narset. That is a good card to have. I'm not terribly interested in drawing cards anymore, and the, the ability to do so is a little bit limited. Okay. So... That's awesome. Are you doing it? What did you guys do with your family? <laughs> okay, so there's one. And here's two, which is going to grow my orc army that can... block here and block here and when this one that has two damage marked on it is killed with a 1-1 one, one, then this construct will become a 2-2 two, two with two damage marked on it and die so we're good to go um sounds like a fun time okay we're left with the bow masters and
and they have a force of will and an unknown card in hand. And we can attack this Narset so that it will destroy itself. Um, Andras, uh, excellent. I'm super, super glad. Uh, stay be hypercritical of the list. Yeah, science is science for science's sake. Absolutely. I, as a scientist, you got to do some really wacky stuff, and then you got to be honest with yourself afterwards. Uh, we're playing Peer into the Abyss Storm, Jason. We're playing four copies of Peer into the Abyss with Force of Will as backup. Ooh, they just destroyed it. Oh, ah, uh ha. -huh. That's a good card. That might shut the game out. Hmm. Yeah. That's probably going to do it. It'll exile Orcish Bowmasters, probably. Yeah, Gavin. Oklahoma Internet is not at its greatest, is it? Um, doing better tonight, though, I think. I don't know. None of you all are, are complaining and letting me know how bad it is. So, I feel pretty okay. Um, okay, so not great, but um, we actually don't have any out to this pithing needle for what it's worth. Um, we could draw a shieldred, which is potentially good. Um, they've put Yorion in their hand, so we'll see what happens. We are slowly dying to this one ring. Uh, Dress Down is a blue card for Force of Will. It's probably about it right now. Um, oh yeah, Batophilies, uh, they are playing Jeskai Yorion Control. Um, not quite sure what everything is in here, but they're doing just fine. Um, Staff of the Storyteller. Yeah, I'll let you do that. So unfortunately, we've used both of our Orcish Bowmasters. So that's not going to be a card that we can actually engage with. Um, so... Yeah, I know you're in Oklahoma as well. It's really just the blind leading and the blind at that point, isn't it? All right, I think that we're good here. I don't think that this is going to work out in our favor. Um, I guess I could end step dress down. That's really not going to do anything. Um, I put fourth Elorangas in their hand. Not going to work out very well. Okay. We're going to concede this game. And move on to game three where um, do I want to change anything? I like taking the Pure into the Abysses out. Um, two of those is just fine. We've seen the Narsets. Um, the One Ring still, I think, is very reasonable. We did see that they had a Pithing, a pithing Needle to get with the Saga, but... Um, oh yes, Bryant, you are, you are giddy with delight, aren't you? Um, I kind of want more Bowmasters. I'm not sure what I would cut. I don't want to cut any blue cards because these forces might be really important. We can't win with the Narset in play. So, um, well, we can. Orcish Bowmasters and Shieldred kind of pave the way. But I don't, I don't know. Um, you want to get rid of the ring to completely? Interesting. Okay. Plus, plus peers and plus bowmasters. Sure, we can do that. That seems reasonable. Um, Jason, I'm really glad that you like the polls. That was uh, Bryant's idea. He suggested it, and it's worked out really nicely. So that will definitely happen in the future. When the all access token leaves, I'm not going to have as many awesome things to be doing. Um, it'll be limited to my card hoarder loan account, which admittedly is very good. But um, 
I won't be able to play the one ring, for example. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to keep this cantrip heavy deck or er, hand with one land. We can find another land. We can we can draw through this. Um They've mulliganed to five. Okay. That's leaving me fairly comfortable. So, Jason, it's technically um, an event entry token, but it grants you access to almost every card that's on Magic Online, which is why I'm going to be able to play with these wacky and fun card arts, uh, play with cards that are otherwise prohibitively expensive, like Orcish Bowmasters and the One Ring. Um, generally just a fun time. Let's play, let's get an Underground Sea. I don't think that they're going to be disrupting our mana, um, our actual lands, I should say. Ponder, that's a pretty good one too. So we've got the Island, which I'm excited about. I'm going to keep the Ponder as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, the cards that it doesn't include are all of the black bordered um, retro frame power um, and some cards that are in secret layers and um like jumpstart was that was it jumpstart i think something like that um they chose to shuffle their ponder by the way lands and shieldred i'm pretty okay with this so let's put the if I want all of these, let's put the Polluted Delta on the bottom, Highland Shieldred, and then I can Brainstorm Bowmasters next turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, Data, the, so the old border power is ridiculously expensive and it was handed out, I think it was a, a and a rewards thing, but a set of power on Magic Online is, I think, close to four figures. Um, it's a little pricey um, if you want them. There's only so many that they actually made digital copies of, I should say. Okay, so I can brainstorm and into this pyroblast that they're representing. Uh, not really something I'm looking forward to. So let's just play an island and pass. I'm ready to bowmasters a brainstorm. I'll bowmasters a ponder as well. I think that that's reasonable as well. So let's... Um, Bowmasters now. This might eat some interaction that would otherwise be leveled at Shieldred and deal our opponent one. They did not brainstorm in response, which makes me think that they may have interaction, but they might not. I don't know. Okay. Um, am I just going to cast a Shieldred right now? I don't think so. They are missing land drops, which is great. They're not going to have to move to discard yet, so I am okay with brainstorming. If they were at eight cards in their hand, and, oh, they didn't have a Pyroblast. That's interesting. Okay. So I'm going to put back a Brainstorm and a Dress Down. Um, 
I would like exactly one. I don't even know if dress down is necessary. Um, maybe. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of both of these. Okay. And we'll get another underground sea. Um, and then this is five, six, seven. Technically, this is enough to peer, but. We'll see. We should potentially bait with the Shieldred and then peer next turn. Um, yeah, Blood Moon is a reasonable concern. Oh, man, I just, I didn't, uh, I should have left up the Underground Sea. That's okay. Okay, so they have a force of will. They pitched a brainstorm. Okay, stranded that in their hand. Next turn, we can potentially peer. They are really... Um, wanting for another mana... Okay, so with six cards in their hand and not making land drops, there's so much interaction. They also could just have a bunch of three-drop Planeswalkers that they're not able to deploy. But if it's a bunch of three-drop Planeswalkers, I would like to avoid getting hit with Narset. So um, if this hits gets hit by a Spell Pierce, then so be it. But... I don't want to run the risk of not being able to cast the card because I waited an extra turn. Um, we'll see how it goes. We have a land drop to make. Ah, Flusterstorm. Okay. That's very similar to Spell Pierce in this case. They have hit land three. What are we doing here? Narset. Okay. And Narset reveals something. I am glad that I played or cast the pier last turn. I, I knew that it was unlikely to have something um, resolve but I think that it was important enough to play around cards that we were concerned about. Now, the nice thing is that they don't have any white mana, so the concern that I would have with... Um, What are they doing here? Uh, Yorion in hand. Okay. Concern that I would have here with like a Wandering Emperor just doesn't exist. And since they've tapped out of Brainstorm, I'm going to dress down. I can draw a card because it's the uh, first one that I've drawn. Oh, I did it in the end step. Yeah, that's fine. I should have done this at the end of their main phase, but they could have technically played a land... Um, that's fine. Okay, we'll take care of the Narset. Hey, Alan, how's it going? Um, I'm pretty okay with brainstorming here. I would like to change the context of my hand. Oh. Well, is that just lethal? That might be. That's just a little short tendrils of agony action here. I can play it off at the basic swamp. Um, I'll shuffle. I don't necessarily want the dress downs, and I can just guarantee that I get something good with Mystic Sanctuary with this brainstorm. Sure. 
Why not? Let's get a preordain. And then we can brainstorm. And why would I want to do that? I can just get the tendrils right now. Drew appear into the abyss anyway. Okay, this is four, and then Lotus Petal is five, and then the tendrils is gonna be six. Um, okay, and if something goes terribly wrong, we have Peer next turn as well. I'm not gonna cast the Dark Ritual for that reason. But it does look like this is GG. We were able to eke things out with the Bowmasters, kind of, uh, yeah, okay, they can force of will something, and I still have many spells on the stack. Um, okay, so they've lost two life to counter two spells, and uh, it doesn't matter, because we played diligently enough. Cool. Look at that. On the board, count it as a win. Um, yeah, playing the ritual seems reasonable. Force of Negation bought them the turn. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, but got them, got them out. So really, really nice, clean win uh, there. It wasn't very clean. What am I talking about? We kind of just had to eke out as much damage as we could with the Bowmasters and then stumble into a really nice Dendril skill. So, um, oh man, Wolf Storm. Yeah, that would be incredible. Okay, so that is going to be a little bit of a side, um, side quest for this league, isn't it? Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Tendrils is R&D intended. It. Yes, a fair Tendrils of Agony. Wild. So while we are waiting on our next league, I am going to actually tell you about how you can keep track of your storm and all of these tokens that we are generating if we weren't online um, and tell you about the Epic Storms token pack. I'll be right back. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game online or underline um i don't know which one so if it's online or in paper i love playing in paper um but the amount of reps that you can get online is just unrivaled you can play against all kinds of people Harry, one, two, three, two. We play them almost every Thursday. Um, I don't think that they've played the same deck twice. This, with the exception of the Mystic Sanctuary. Oh, Maverick, oh, they do, yeah, they, they yeah, that's right. They are just playing Maverick, okay. Um, I don't hate this. It's not like yeah, I'm gonna keep this it's not going places quickly but this deck doesn't go places quickly so I need to stop looking at it through the lens of the epic storm or you know the epic gamble black saga storm ad nauseum uh, and and just play it like a reasonable mid-range storm deck you know those classic strategies those classic archetypes mid-range storm um you know alan yes he is he's usually on maverick um they're usually on maverick my apologies 
but uh, we'll see. Maybe maybe they're changing it up. Oh, Gavin, I'm actually getting another set. Um, just because, like, sometimes I make too many goblin tokens, and I want to uh, I want to make sure that I have enough tokens. <laughs> Sometimes peer into the abyss, storm is really high, storm is beyond 20, and uh, sometimes it matters. So, uh, and by the way, um, anybody know if dress down stops the mana abilities from Dryad Arbor? I don't actually know. I would guess yes, because the creature has the ability but I'm not 100% sure. Um, am I going to dress down now? I mean, yeah, I'm going to, and we're gonna find out. Uh, yep, okay, loses the ability. Look at that. Yeah, convenient L2 judge. John, that's great. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, okay, we didn't hit a fetch land. So this brainstorm is meh, but we hit the pier. Uh, we don't need the Ottawara. And uh, we can put the Mystic Sanctuary back on top. I kind of don't want to play out the Underground Sea, actually. Now that I'm thinking about this, is if they just pull out a wasteland, then it's kind of uh, unfortunate. I could um, dress down in my end step to turn off their knight, but they can still they can still grab a wasteland in my upkeep. Um, okay, so let's put back. Let's see, one, two, let's play the Ottawara this turn. So let's put back Mystic Sanctuary and Dress Down, and then we can preordain them away and clear the top of our deck. And we got the One Ring, okay. It's not gonna be as good as Peer Into the Abyss, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh huh. Okay. So now we have seven mana available, uh, which is exactly enough. Um, but we will have played a land drop, which is a little unfortunate. Um, we will be relying on the three remaining lotus petals to get us there. Um, but we can go off next turn. Whether it's going to work or not, unsure. We have to hit one of the three Lotus Petals and a Dark Ritual in half of our deck. Probably okay. Or we can just draw one of them for turn. We'll see. Ah, we did. We did draw one of them for turn. Okay. So... We will have a Lotus Petal at the end of all of this. And because this is going to give us Threshold, they are incentivized to... Oh, they just... Oh, okay. Okay. Fine by me. Uh, they could have gotten a Bajuka Bog with their Knight of the Reliquary, but they kind of missed that line. So we actually get two extra mana that I was not counting on. Um, so we are pretty pretty safe here. So we can get the Dark Rituals out, uh, Cabal Ritual, and we can respond with a Cabal Ritual if they decided to spin up a Bajuka Bog, which they're not doing for some reason. But that's okay. And let's play out the Lotus Petal. And we have both Tendrils of Agony. We have 14 black mana. This is incredible. We can do so much damage. 
They might not have Bajuka Bug, but it's a Knight of the Reliquary deck. Um, I'm going to definitely be planning planning around it for game two. It could be a sideboard thing, but um, interesting. Um, yeah, absolutely. Tendrils, Gavin, way to go. Okay, we need the filter out. I would imagine that that's a card that we want to <clears throat> okay. Um, another thing that we could think... Uh, I want the Thought Seizes. Uh, we could think about Bowmasters. I don't think that that's going to be as necessary against our opponent. And then we can take out... Um, Dress Town seems reasonable, right? Um, I think that that's okay. And then we can, we can take out a couple of the One Rings and a Preordain. I think that that's reasonable. Filter out, really great card. Thoughtseize, awesome disruption for an opponent that might have... Well, we did see that they were playing red, so Pyroblast is on the table. Um, although I'm less worried about something like that and more worried about something like um, Collector Oof or um, Mindbreak Trap. Jeez, okay. But we still have the Force of Will, so we're not completely out. Um, okay. This is pretty soft to wasteland. Pretty soft to wasteland. But we've got cantrips to find our extra uh, our additional lands. I'm going to keep this on the draw. We've got Peer into the Abyss, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual. So we've got some mana acceleration once we... Why is this not... There we go. Okay. Hmm. Just wasn't shuffling for me. Birds of Paradise. Okie dokie. We're going to preordain. And Dark Ritual is nice. Um, but I really need to hit an additional land here. Maybe I can keep the Dark Ritual. I'm going to bottom the Brainstorm, keep the Dark Ritual. And hope and pray. Carpet of Flowers. Well, now they are disincentivized to wastelanding me because that would get rid of their mana. I don't know. We'll see. They did not have a second land. Spicy. Mystic Sanctuary. Well, I did ask for a second land. I should have been more specific, shouldn't I? Um, okay. Okay. So, we can put Pier on the bottom and Polluta Delta on top and then keep Force of Will in the hand. We are giving them... Don't shuffle. We are giving them two additional mana um, just for free. I could have played the Polluta Delta and they would have only gotten an ad one additional as opposed to two additional mana. But I think that we're going to need as much mana as possible next turn and we're going to try to kill them. So um, they have a bunch of mana and we have a Force of Will as backup. Uh, Zabeche, it is, and that's kind of the fun, right? Ooh, they made white mana. What are they doing? Deafening Silence? I have the Force of Will for that. Um... This is courtesy of MTGO's All Access Tokens. I figured that I would play with some arts that I am not able to uh, normally and um, just kind of have a fun time with it. Soul Guide Lantern. That's fine. Um, I don't think that we actually need this Cabal Ritual to have Threshold um, in order to actually work, so... We are going to draw a fetch land. Um, the all access token was $25 and it was about a month. Um, and it's, it's a, technically it's an entry. You're buying an entry into a tournament. Um, but unless you sign up, then you don't actually have to play, play in the tournament. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to go. Gotta go. Gotta go. 
I'm going to get another underground sea. Uh, we are very open to wasteland anyway, so we might as well have some fairly good mana if that doesn't end up happening. Um, could have gotten a basic swamp to turn this carpet off, make it worse anyway, but... Um, and I'm leaving the underground sea untapped just in case we need to brainstorm instead of dark ritual. But it looks like we are good to go. We've got a lotus petal and a dark ritual and let's actually scroll over here. We've got another lotus petal, all four lotus petals. Okay. Uh, yeah, the forces are good. Richard Kane Ferguson forces, pretty, pretty mint. Um, okay. So we've got all kinds of mana, and if they suddenly decide that they want to Soul Guide Lantern, we can Cabal Ritual in response. And then we make one mana off of this Cabal Ritual, or well, plus one mana off of that Cabal Ritual. And let's Thought Seize them. Maybe they have something that I care about. They do not, ooh, ooh, wow. That is a hand of Magic the Gathering cards. Um, wild. Unfortunate that our opponent didn't really get to do much this game. For them, unfortunate for them, not unfortunate for, for us, right? The good guys won, but um, that's really cool. Okay, uh, yeah, I did hit it, okay, excellent. We have, we have gotten it. Uh, Peer into the Abyss is such a fun card to cast and resolve and then get to just, oh, it's so much fun in paper too. Like if you've never resolved to Peer into the Abyss in paper, you're missing out. You get to just take half of your deck and put it into your hand and be like, yeah, okay, now I'm just gonna win. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we are the good guys. This is the Epic Storm YouTube channel. We're not ever not the good guys when we're playing something that wins with Tendrils of Agony. So, Daniel, uh, good question. I'm gonna start a league match really quick and I'm gonna move over to the deck list. Now, lots of brand new or art and borders and things like that, but PETA, Peer into the abyss. We are hell bent on resolving Peer into the abyss. From there, we can win with all of these rituals and lotus petals into tendrils of agony. It's kind of like Doomsday, where we care about resolving one spell, but um, we don't have to work that hard. So, we are up for round three and another Yorion. Oh, Akaleth. They are a Death and Taxes player. They're actually streaming right now. Um, I know that they're pretty decent, by the way, so I wouldn't worry about stream sniping or anything like that uh, from them or their viewers. They're, they're nice people. Um, I am going to keep this. They're on the play, which is not great, but um, we have a couple of cantrips and we're gonna see how, how this goes. Uh, yeah, Gavin, it's a real fun time resolving Pia. Um, well, cardboard creationism, I don't know about that. Eh, everybody, everybody has something that they've got going on. Oh, our opponent is likely playing the white black version of Death and Taxes that's playing um, Orcish Bowmasters. Uh, yeah, Zabeche, this dress down kind of does not have me worried about things like Thalia that I would be worried about otherwise. So, pretty okay with this. We have our three mana to like end step, dress down, untap, win. Okay. Oh, Jason, it's really not that bad. You um you gotta you gotta get some practice with it. Oh, they're playing the best basics. Oh, I love the Euro basic promos. Um Okay. Dolly is not a problem. But what you gotta do when you're resolving Peer into the Abyss in paper is um 
Well, hold up. Let me resolve this preordain. More lands. I'm okay with that. Um, what you got to do is count the cards that are not in your deck. You let your opponent know, hey, I came with 60 cards registered in my deck. Okay, great. It's a basic assumption that you can make. Count the cards that are outside of it. Subtract that number from 60. Uh, if you have like 10 cards out, then you have 50 cards left in your deck, and then you just deal a pile of cards, just like you're dealing a, a, a deck of cards, uh, and you just count to 25. And then when you're done with that, you count, you flip through the remaining library, and you just verify that there are also um, 25 cards there. It's really, it's really fun. Um, okay, so we've got all kinds of interesting things to do. This cauldra, not really very concerning because peer into the abyss, while it's, it's life dependent, I can't peer into the abyss at one life. I can peer into the abyss as low as two life and still be fine. So... Um, I think we're going to be good here. We still need to find some action. We have yet to do that. We can draw into it with Dress Down or the One Ring, depending. Um, oh, well, that's kind of fun. Uh, so why play the pedal? It's because I'm not really able to do anything yet. Uh, so end of turn dress down doesn't really accomplish anything. Um, however, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's lethal. Our opponent has us dead. Um, yeah, Mikey, we are we are just deceased. Um, so we're gonna go now. Um, okay, it's something. It's a little less than something. Um, let's dress down. That draws a card just like the one ring does, uh, but it um, doesn't cost as much. Oh boy. Um, ring does give us a turn, which is what I'll play. But this is, this is a little tough. And we're gonna draw a card immediately because of the Spirit of the Labyrinth. Ah, oh, okay. I'm also gonna play the Lotus Petal um, because Thalia will be turned off until their turn. Okay, so we've got stuff going on. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we could draw that will make our hand functional um but yeah spirit of the labyrinth uh, death and taxes usually plays a four of spirit of the labyrinth that may change with orcish bowmasters um being you know a card that people have to care about but we'll see i don't know but death and taxes played four of spirit of the labyrinth for well ever since yorion's printing honestly mm-hmm It is a little bit of a non-bow with Orcish Bowmasters, which I think that they're playing in the deck. I, I can't think of another reason to play black in Death and Taxes. I mean, Plague Engineer, sure, but that's kind of a secondary bonus that you get because you're playing Bowmasters. Um, but it's a little bit of a non-bow, right? If I can't draw more than one card each turn, then I'm not going to be able to trigger Bowmasters for the ping or for the Orc Army um, buff. Yeah. But 
then again, you're stopping my draw anyways, and you have a 3-1 on the battlefield, so it's probably just fine. Um, yeah, Alex, I think I would agree. Definitely a decent matchup for Bowmaster. Um, we'll see how it goes. They are finding something to do. Skyclave Apparition. Do they have a land? I mean, that would be... Oh, they don't. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Brainstorm. Okay, so first things first. We have got to dress down. It's going to cost us three. But we get to draw a card. And I actually, since I need to win right now... Um, should I brainstorm and then fetch or should I fetch now to thin and then brainstorm um, I should probably brainstorm now and then see a random one no 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 I just want to draw now and have the most information going into my brainstorm yeah okay so let's brainstorm the other tendrils of agony was not the greatest um, and then I can put back Mystic Sanctuary, and I don't think that we're going to get enough mana to go for the additional Tendrils. Um, oh, I could have drawn another set of cards with the One Ring before I brainstormed. I was just talking about getting as much information as possible, and I missed potentially the largest source of information, which is this One Ring. Okay, a couple of Force of Wills. Not super great. Good cards to put back, though. Um, okay, so we really have to hit uh, something delicious off of this, dark, uh, of this Ponder. And it's probably going to be a Shuffle. It is going to be a shuffle. Peer into the Abyss would have been good a little while ago. Um, Force of Will ain't it. So I have one more Lotus Petal that I can hit and then a bunch of Rituals. It's not looking great. Those are the Rituals that I wanted, or at least that's the Ritual that I wanted, but I don't have a land drop to make to keep this train going. I've already made my land drop, uh, which is really too bad, because if I did hit a Lotus Petal in in that hand, then that would have been a win, but unfortunately, it didn't end up working out. So our opponent gets there for the first game. However, we get to bring in Orcish Bowmasters and Thoughtseize and Filter Out. Seems fantastic. And then I get to take out the one ring and three other cards probably preordains i think i like force of will but i could see an argument for getting rid of it um if i get rid of preordains and i don't need all four force of wills um yeah filter out is incredible um but yeah, Orcish Bowmaster is great. Thoughtseize is great. Filter Out is great. The One Ring, meh. The Force of Will did feel bad. Um, what if I what if I do this and I keep in the Preordains? What? I I don't know. I don't know if our opponent plays um, Mindbreak Trap. Maybe we just keep in one of the rings. Lord of the ring. There's only one ring, so yeah, sure. Let's keep in one ring. Alternatively, we could play Shieldred. That might not be something that's on their radar. If we do that, we can take out the ring and potentially appear into the abyss. Uh, that seems bad. We can take out a preordain. 
So got a lot of one drops, got a handful of two drops, and then got some top end that will be really good. Okay. I'm okay with this. The nice thing about this deck that I actually haven't mentioned, we're playing five basic lands, four islands, and one swamp. We can we can last against Wasteland really nicely if we can fetch around it. So pretty excited about that. Um, it is a, a nice avenue that this deck has. I'm excited about Orcish Bowmasters. Um, maybe we can target our opponent with Peer into the Abyss. I don't know. Um, we'll have to see. If not, we can target ourselves with Peer into the Abyss and have a Shieldred out and just gain a ridiculous amount of life. So, you know, that's pretty good too. Um, Orcish Bowmasters is going to be so good. It is interesting um, how like the same tone that's on Thoughtseize is on Orcish Bowmasters. It's kind of got the dark, br like dark black with orange and yellow and purple. It's kind of cool. Um, hmm. This doesn't have Dress Down, this doesn't have Bowmasters, this doesn't have Thoughtseize. It's not a bad hand, don't get me wrong. Cantrips for days, but I'm not sold on it. I think that if this was not Death and Taxes, I would be okay with this, but since they have so many Hate Bears, I want to Mulligan. Um, okay, well, we have a goal in mind, and I can keep and we have some removal, and I can get rid of this Tendrils. So I like this hand a little bit better, um, and it's a basic island, which is even better. Um, yeah, Shieldred, not, potentially not great. I understand that, but um, I don't think that they're going to have any kind of um, creature removal in their deck anymore, but we'll see. Dark Ritual, Dress Down, Polluted Delta. I want all of these cards. I think that I want the Dress Down least of all, and then the Dark Ritual can power out a turn two Shieldred. Um, yeah. And we can do it around Deafening Silence because Shieldred is a creature. So, oh, they don't have one. Okay, that's fine too. Uh, so we can get... I know that I'm getting rid of the dress down, but I can get the basic swamp, dark ritual, and cast a shield rid. I don't know. Seems pretty good to me. I get that it's not, it's potentially not the greatest idea. Like they could just have, uh, they're not going to be able to board everything out. Um, but um, they'll have some solitudes in there because that's a creature that attacks. Cauldra is also a tough one. Hmm. Oh. Okay, let's go to combat. Caracas, yeah. They are a four, four Caracas deck. Um, so this Lotus Petal will allow us to filter out, but that bounces our own Shieldred. I'm gonna shuffle this. Island, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Hmm. The potentially really nice thing is if, um, we get Shieldred in the graveyard as opposed to anywhere else. Oh, it just exiles it. That's too bad. Okay, never mind. We would be that much closer to um, Threshold on Cabal Ritual, but that's not going to work out very well for us. And they are doing a good job. Oh, 
That was one too many. One too many clicks. Uh, that's fine. I can play a land. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, so if we get Threshold, which we are just a couple of cards away from, then we're going to be doing just fine. Ooh, never mind. Lion Sash. Huh. Threshold is not going to happen, it looks like. But we still have the Shieldred out. And I'm pretty sure that that Shieldred is going to beat the Cauldra. Um, especially since... Oh, they put Yorion into hand and Solitude. Well, you know what? I can filter out and protect my Shieldred. This prevents them from deploying the, the Cauldra. And, uh, oh, non-creature. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna. Yeah, okay. I don't know how I missed that. Oh boy. <clears throat> That's a tough one. Well, wouldn't be a stream with me if I wasn't... Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, misplaying all the time. Um, okay. So, Bowmasters is potentially reasonable. Um, I don't have a permanent... Oh, they have a permanent to eat with Lion Sash. Okay. So this is not gaining them life, which is fine. I could potentially, I can't race this, I don't think. Um, I haven't done the math, but we are gonna deploy this Bowmasters at the very least. Um, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're so close. Um, ah, they have a Bowmasters of their own. Alrighty then. So we're one mana away from casting our own Peer into the Abyss. Um, which is the only way that we're going to win this game. I get that the Bowmasters is going to kill us if we peer into the Abyss, but we also, we would need to draw like a, a dress down or something like that. Um, I do not have Threshold. Yeah, Alex, I, yeah, I know Peer would kill us. Um, ah! The fetch lands that I was not counting for threshold. Yes, uh, but they had the bowmasters to flash it in, uh, so that would have not worked out well for me. Um, for what it's worth, I didn't see that. I was not counting the fetch lands going to the graveyard. But if we draw a dress down here or a bowmasters of our own, then um, then we will actually have it. So we. Interesting. Dress down's not going to do it now. Or not. Uh, dress down will do it. Dress down is the only thing that does it. Um, that is not going to do it. Okay. Well, got to have a loss there to a little bit of a punt, but I don't think that that was going to work in our favor anyway. Um, we just didn't draw the 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 dress downs or the orcish bone masters when we needed to.
That's all right. Um, okay, so I'm going to give you a little bit of an ad. So when this all access token leaves us and you have to actually you know, purchase the cards yourselves again, consider instead of purchasing them yourselves, uh, getting a rental account. Card Hoarder is a sponsor of this channel and a fantastic source for card rental, uh, the best card rental service currently available. So give them a, give them a look. Mm, that one. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. And we're hit here waiting for another match to start. I actually hit the button a little bit late, but that's okay. I'll be right back. I need to refill my water. If you hold tight, we'll get started on our fourth match very soon. All right, and we are back with water and our round four opponent. We won the die roll, which is always nice to see. And we're going to keep a hand like this. Absolutely. Dress downs, force of will. We've got rituals and peer into the abyss. We just need threshold and a couple of turns to establish a winning chance. So let's do this. Um... What have we become? I know, I know. Force of will, keeping a hand with force of will and basic island. This is just, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, flooded strand from our opponent. Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Another island, and we can prolong the fact, uh, prolong the hidden information that we are also playing a second color um, as long as possible. And this polluted delta actually can get a basic swamp. Um, we don't ever really need one, more than one additional um, initial source of black mana, so it's nice. Yeah, Jerk, uh, these are incredible. I love the island. This is the Bay of Belf... Uh, Belf... Gosh, that one was a tongue twister. Uh, just on the south of Rohan, between Rohan and Gondor and Mordor. Okay. Really cool. Uh, okay. Force of Will. Great. Uh, yeah, we're playing Preordain. We're playing Force of Will. We're playing all kinds of wild stuff. You can actually check out the link in the description below the channel right now. And if you want to rent the account or rent the uh, the deck, you can check it out on Card Hoarder in the pinned comment if you're on YouTube and watching this after the live stream. Or you can rent it uh, or buy it from TCG Player. So there are two links there, Card Hoarder and TCG Player in the pinned comment, and it'll take you to uh, either of those awesome websites and it'll auto-populate your cart for you. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, we're up against um, Jeskai again. Ooh, oh, okay. How about the one ring with double force backup? that's just gonna eat a Teferi immediately. Eh, I'm less excited about that. I will do it if we don't have to ritual it out. Um, I think that that's reasonable, but I don't want to waste this Cabal ritual um, on the One Ring. Um, 
I don't know. We'll have to see. Have to see where all this goes. They are likely playing fourth Aer Lingus, another Lord of the Rings card that I have yet to play, but um, maybe that'll change. I don't know. Okay. Mm they are not doing... Oh, they played just a mi tapped Mystic Sanctuary. Um... Ponder. I think I might want to ponder instead. I'd like to keep hitting land drops. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. Didn't hit land drops. Um, tendrils. Not bad. I actually kind of like all of this because while we're not necessarily situated to fight over here yet. Maybe we could fair tendrils them out. Eh, maybe that's... We don't have enough mana to do that yet. I'll keep the brainstorm and the cabal ritual. And I actually can brainstorm now. See one new card. Eh, we're just going to miss our land drop. That's fine. I don't need to hit every land drop. It's okay. This is not a control mirror. Um, I was going to discard um, like yeah, I guess it's the one ring. We don't need that. We are just leaning into peer into the abyss. Um, I was thinking like, oh yeah, we can move to discard and it'll like speed up our cabal ritual. Um, this is just fine. Narset. Well, we got to counter the Narset. And I'm going to pitch Dress Down. Okay, they're going to Force, pitching the Supreme Verdict. Good choice. And I'm going to Force the Narset. Pitching the dress down, and then if none of this resolves, then I'm going to brainstorm. Oh wow! Um, they're really just doing it all here. Now, did they split their brainstorm? No. Okay, so I'm going to, or I split their fluster storm. One of the storms. I'm going to brainstorm now, and I'm going to put back peer into the abyss and tendrils of agony okay nope not paying for fluster storm and I am all good for this narset to resolve I'm not gonna shuffle. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the tendrils of agony in my hand. Um, I did put it on top, right? Yes. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't know. I was. We don't need the peer into the abyss. That's true. Could have just kept the other one. Um, yeah, peer is not a necessary card. Day's undoing. Well, that'll about do it. We draw a Lotus Petal. Okay. Um, I don't think that we're going to get there, folks. Uh, I think we can safely concede. Okay. So, against Jeskai, Day's undoing. And... We are going to want, um, what are we going to want here? Narset gets eaten up by Filter Out. Orcish Bowmasters for their wheel and Thought Seizes. And then we can take out the One Ring and three other cards. 
Um, they might have... Um, yeah, we did just get our fourth land, John. Um, they might have Hole Breacher. Makes me less likely to want to cut Dress Down out of here, but I can shave one, two, and then a Preordain. Um, what do we think about that? Um, I'm pretty okay with this. We don't need the Ley Lines. We don't need the Force of Negations. This isn't a... Oh, you know what? Yeah, Force of Negation is just better than Force of Will in this matchup, right? No, no, not necessarily. Force of Will will still protect our combo. Um, if we weren't concerned about protecting our combo, then Force of Negation would be better because we can hard cast it. Maybe that's fine. Um, red Elemental Blast, true. What if we just do this? Mm. I don't know. I think that I'm kind of waffling here, but I'm I'm concerned that not being able to protect our combo is not at its greatest. But I think that that's fine. We'll try it out. Uh, this is a no land hand, so we're going to Mulligan. And this is a hand with, um, yeah, Bowmasters is probably going to cover the Narset. I'm not sure. Um, three and one yeah, could have happened. Um, I'm going to bottom an underground sea here, and I am going to keep this hand with island ponder keep right that's something that people say at least one person says it quite a lot the bosch and roll special brian koval eat your heart out um we'll see what our opponent does they've chosen to keep their seven okay that's unfortunate well we know what we need so i am going to ponder right away which is oh Orcish Bowmasters and Peer into the Abyss and Dress Down. Uh, yes, please. Okay, so Dress Down is less important. Peer into the Abyss is perfectly acceptable. And then Orcish Bowmasters in hand. Um, yeah, I think that this is a great start. Um, the only thing that we don't have the ability to beat yet is Counter Magic. We got to work on that one. But our opponent doesn't know that we're a combo deck yet. Uh, we just showed them Force of Wills and Dress Downs and Cantrips and a uh, Polluted Delta and Basic Islands. So I don't know. We might have uh, pulled a fast one on our opponent. Um, sources disagree. Cat hair everywhere. Um, Okay, so dress down on top. I will play the Scalding Tarn and probably fetch it away, but we'll have to see. Our opponent chose to not shuffle with their Ponder, by the way. I am going to fetch this away. Okay, pretty glad I fetched it away. Let's go with Underground Sea and Pass. <clears throat> um, I will definitely Bowmasters a Brainstorm, but they didn't do that. Respectable choice. Now, if this is a Teferi, I'm going to Bowmasters, and Bowmasters eats up Teferi for breakfast, which is great. I'm not going to Bowmasters. I don't need to do that. Ah, well, now I want to cast this Lotus Petal, which does tip them off that I'm a combo deck. Um, but double Bowmasters is pretty spicy. How about... 
No. I mean, you can draw your cards, but I get to benefit as well. How about that? And again. Oh boy. This might be pretty good. Yeah, okay, okay. Our opponent conceded the game. Uh, that was incredible. Yeah, double Bowmaster, instant concession to a brainstorm. Uh, fantastic. Double brainstorm for what it's worth. Oh boy, that felt good. Um, okay. This action on my end step makes me want force of will a little bit more. Um, maybe I, I don't know, maybe I just don't care about that. No, I really need answers to, I really do need answers to their planeswalkers. Um, what if I cut a tendrils of agony? Um, they did walk into it. I played the lotus petal out. Um, what did they expect was going to happen? I saw an underground sea. Maybe, maybe the tendrils is fine and I can cut a peer into the abyss. They are a whole breacher Narset deck. Um, and if I want to do that, maybe I can just like really go hard on the forces to answer the narsets and the potential potential hole breachers we don't know if that's the case or not i don't think so i don't think that that's the case okay we'll go with five forces three peers see what works um this is pretty good i like this yeah we can work with basics we don't know if they're like a blood moon deck or anything like that but um, I mean, they're playing Prismatic Vista, so it's within the realm of possibilities. Okay. Um, I like the Ponder and the Preordain. Um, maybe I don't need the Preordain because I have the Brainstorm. I can do the ponder. It is a lot of cantrips. So we can just call that good. Um, yeah, or we might surprise our opponent with this tendrils of agony at some point or other. It's entirely possible. Counterbalance. Well, that one is a powerful card. Another ponder. That's pretty all right. Um, let's just ponder here. And our opponent reveals a ponder of their own. Okay. So we are not going to cast the other ponder. Hmm. Filter out looking potentially good, but they have a lot of three drops, I would assume. So... Um, I'm not sure. They chose to shuffle with their ponder, so this counterbalance potentially has... Oh, never mind. They have another ponder. We'll see what happens. They might not know the top of their library with this counterbalance. Um, if they don't end up fetching, we... Um, I do have Ottawara, for sure. Um... This Scalding Tarn could potentially get a Mystic Sanctuary and stack the top of their deck. They chose to not shuffle. Okay. Dress down. Well, I'm not going to play a cantrip directly into their known top card. Um, I don't need to play that game. I can just pass the turn. That's totally fine. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, planes from our opponent, and a Teferi Time Raveler. That's unfortunate, but okay. Um, that's fine. And yeah, this is interesting. B Bowmasters is just forcing Teferi players to plus. It is, it is wild. The change in gameplay um, is incredible. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Let's see about a brainstorm. They are fetching to change the top, which they knew from the ponder. They might brainstorm, or they might try to rip um, just a random off of the top. Um. Looks like they're making a decision. Kozilex return. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's put Peer into the Abyss back and dress down back. I like all of the lands. Hmm. Do I like all the lands? Yeah, they're fetch lands. So I can put them into the graveyard for the Cabal Ritual threshold, which is great. Um, okay. Five. Let's play a Ponder. Yes, we know the top card is a Kozilex return. Uh, another Cabal Ritual. Hmm. One, two, three. This would be threshold. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which is not quite enough to peer and tendrils. Uh, which is. I think I'm gonna keep this. And I know, so this ponder is gonna act as bait on my next turn to get them to stack their counterbalance with a one on top so that I can Cabal Ritual out into this pier. Um, I don't want a zero on top because I need this Lotus Petal and potentially the other Lotus Petals in the deck, probably, as initial mana sources. Unfortunately, Things got infinitely harder. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Got it. Mystic Sanctuary. Putting a ponder on top so I can't even try to ponder into the Ottawara. Um. Things did just get a little tough. So, um, see where things go now. Um, hmm. The fact that this deck straight up loses to Narset means that this is not the greatest place for this to be. Uh, yes, I will make sure to shuffle. Um, I should probably just do it now. But, um, yeah, I don't need the dress down on top. It's not going to do anything. Fourth Aer Lingus. Yep. Okay. Well, that's going to be a problem. Um, Petal did give Threshold. Um, I knew that I had Threshold, but... They had not cast a Narset, and they had plenty of an op plenty of opportunities to do so. Um, okay. Bowmasters can answer Narset. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't need anything in the graveyard in my hand right now. 
force of will. That would have been nice a little earlier. Oh wait, no, it wouldn't have been. Whatever. Um, do I have to burn this this ponder right now, looking for a bowmaster or an Ottawa? I think I might. Um, alternatively, they're at seventeen. Um, can I fashion a game such that I peer? into the abyss them and make them lose a lot of life and then finish it off with tendrils can i do that this is five mana six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve um i might be able to do that so you know what let's uh thought uh what's it what it, what's up i'm kind of i'm kind of liking this idea they have six cards in hand, and I know about three of them. I'm not sure that they're going to have forces necessarily, but we'll see what this is. A one. That's fine. I don't need this ponder to resolve. Okay, this is a big turn here. Brainstorm. Got it. So they can put a two. They can put this dress down on top. That's unfortunate. And I can't respond because of Teferi. Um, that is too bad. Um, tendrils. The fairway is an option right now. And I can just tendrils for four, eight take them down to nine um, and it buys me some turns or I could attempt to do this all over again later uh, I knew they used that brainstorm too um, this ponder will resolve it's not going to draw me a card but I can set up the next couple of turns so that I can attempt this whole peer them, tendrils them strategy. Um, I'm gonna do that. I know that this is not gonna draw a card, but this isn't a hull breacher, so it's not gonna be that bad. Um, interesting, okay. So this brainstorm is absolute garbage, but it could be a useful spell later on. <sighs> this is tough. Natural selection. Yeah, it is a little bit. So it would be Brainstorm, Underground Sea, Lotus Petal. And I would draw the Lotus Petal and it would be not enough. So I'm going to shuffle my library. Okay, <clears throat> they're gonna just draw a bunch of cards and keep clocking for two, which it's like, it's fine. Um, I'm a little surprised they haven't activated their Teferi to minus on nothing. Um, just for the sake of drawing additional cards. Actually, what they can do is they can, oh, well, they just did that, which I think is a little bit of a mistake. They could have minus dress, or play dress down minus the Teferi drawn two cards for the price of two mana um but i guess they are not wanting for cards right now they're moving to discard discard of this prismatic ending thoughtsies that's a really good one okay so we're gonna we're gonna need a couple more castables but um i'm okay with this so far Okay. Um, Thoughtseize was a good a good draw. Um, how is how's everybody doing in chat? Are we we a little nervous about this match? I am. I think we're like really close to having a really cool win, and if we can pull it out, I'm going to be very excited. But the chances of that happening are slim to none. We'll say. 
Okay, so they're moving to discard again. Probably the causal X return. Yep. Dark ritual. Okay. So let's test the waters. Is this enough to do things? They'll be at eight and then tendrils. This will be enough. Okay, so let's test the waters with a Thoughtsies. Um. Okay, so there's a Prismatic Vista on top. Let's see what this Thoughtseize delivers. Probably a Force of Will, for what it's worth. <laughs> force of Will, okay. Now, let's try a Dark Ritual. They can brainstorm, which is unfortunate. Um, the, the interesting thing is that, okay, so Dark Ritual, let's see if this resolves. It does. Okay. We're trying things, guys. Um, Oh, this is the good streamer. What are you talking about? Who else are you thinking about? Okay, so they have another force. Okay. Um, not enough, I know. So, six will get you 12. They're at three. Um... Should have used blue. Well, we would have only have had five mana anyway. Um, I think that this might be lost. They had a lot of forces and they pitched the dress down that we knew about. This prismatic vista is on top of their library. Um, mm hmm. Should I tendrils them? I guess I have to, yeah. Um, same targets all here and we can natural tendrils, then we have one more cut. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, we were not going to win this one. How about we just call that good? Uh, okay. That was, uh, they had a little bit of everything for us. Um, that's too bad. But the more professional guy that wins a lot. All right, Amtrak Drak. That's... Uh, not very nice of you. Let's play another league. Um, and while we're doing that, I'm going to get started on letting you know how you can support this content if you are enjoying it and uh by becoming a youtube member you also support bryant and his work on his videos that he produces three times a week so let me tell you a little bit about that if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe you can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel you get sweet perks such as badges emotes early access to videos exclusive members only content and access to our members discord section as you increase the tiers there are other rewards such as shop discounts cyborg guides and even free donation decks click the join button down below to find out more we also have other ways you can support us like the epicsworm.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicsworm.com slash donation dax that's enough for now let's play some magic and it is time to combo uh we won the die roll 
for our, our fifth and final round, we have got uh, Ponder, Underground Sea, Force of Will, The One Ring. I'm going to keep this one. This might actually be The One Ring's time to shine. So uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Um, all right. Our opponent, Drayton, is deciding what to do. Um, you know, Zabeche, that was a that was a good matchup. Uh, I actually enjoyed playing that match. There was a lot of potential uh, that we could have uh, we could have done with uh, with all of that, but didn't didn't end up getting there. Okay, Pier. It's fine. Ponder Island is what I want. No shuffle. And we can um, ponder next turn, looking for a third land and power out of one ring force protected on turn three, maybe. Um, O'Doyle, yeah, I have, but I have not played it on stream. Um, Tin Fins is one of the names that that goes by. Um, Reanimator Storm is generally a more appropriate and descriptive word for it. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fun lines that could definitely have worked out in our favor. Um, okay, I don't think I want these. Um, yes, shuffle those library. I did shuffle, right? I did, I, I did click shuffle, that's okay. Um, well, I appreciate it, Zabeche. We are working on uh, improving our content, but it is uh, it's just a lot of fun to try all the new stuff, right? That's the goal. Ooh, Flagstones and Elvish Reclaimer. Our opponent has assembled their combo quicker than we could. That's okay, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, okay, let's brainstorm here. I wouldn't like to not make Mystic Sanctuary as my land drop. Okay. And now I want Mystic Sanctuary because I can put this Dark Ritual back if I draw something really cool with the One Ring that I want later on. So let's power out the One Ring. Um, let's be relatively disciplined and get an island here. Play the one ring. Um, see what happens. Um, yeah, Alex, it's a tough, tough life, right? These ponder shuffle bugs are as ubiquitous as Thoughtseize bugs. Um, I'm not going to draw right now. I don't really feel the need. We don't have something that's going to happen right now. So I can just draw my opponent's end step and they have ramped oh no look at what they need to mimic a fraction of my power um wasteland okay well i have the island and the lotus battle so like i'm fine with this it's not great but it'll be fine Okay, they've got the manas. Sylvan Library. Hmm. Okay. I would like an Orcish Bowmaster. <laughs> Just prevent them from drawing. Not that they would draw anyway. Um You can try to attack me, but it doesn't work. So, end step, we're gonna draw with a one ring, another lotus petal. It's kinda nifty. We take one. And survey says a dark ritual. Okay, so let's draw two more. And we did hit a non-mystic sanctuary land. I actually think I want to play the island here. Yeah, I kind of want to just play the island. And then we have enough in our hand that we don't have to go to discard. Um, yeah, Bryant's, uh, Bryant's right there with it, so. Love the moderation in the chat. It's always good. Um, but yeah, John, the crop rotator would be very good. Uh, a little on the nose, but 
if it was in like a modern horizons um set then they were a little on the nose with a lot of those cards so it might have been crop rotator at that point like they had um cabal therapist so this is ready ready for that crop rotator night name it just didn't happen Ooh, they kept a card that's two less storm than i need to hit um interesting okay so they are presenting a win very quick um I don't. I didn't think that I needed to force of will the Sylvan Library. I was kind of holding it for a crop rotation, but um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I needed to think about that a little bit more. Okay, so the preordain, and let's fetch. Or, actually, we could play a Mystic Sanctuary and put Brainstorm on top. No, I don't think that that's necessary. Let's preordain first. Um, Luta Delta on the bottom, Lotus Petal on the bottom. Uh, Force of Will. Okay. Well, let's actually now grab a brainstorm because uh, that needs to happen and the answer is yes we do want to use this ability uh, let's cast these lotus petals so that we don't have to go to super discard we just have to discard one card yeah one card um, and it's gonna be a land. I'm holding double force up. I don't think that I need that, but we're not gonna be able to hit two land drops before they combo us. So I'm okay with holding up a play set of force of wills in my hand. Um, crop rotation. Well, now I might not have to. They have done the work for me. Okay, cool. Uh, Joe, yes, this is live. Have you ever sent, seen that um, Penn and Teller late night skit? They're hanging upside down and they're doing a magic trick and they're like screaming into the camera, are we live? Yeah. I don't know. Um, we are live though. Look it up on YouTube after this. You're on the site. Just a quick search away. Um, okay, so they can rotate a uh, savannah into presumably a dark depths uh no flagstones okay um well the bowmasters are in the sideboard um by the way um okay no tin fins but also have dark depths combo in it maybe dark tin fins that is a that is a deck already it's called ice station zebra it's a weird name but um a lot of old legacy decks have weird names. Ice Station Zebra. Minskin Boo. How about no? Okay. Well, I'm glad that I kept all four forces in my hand. I hadn't had a single thing to force since I kept those two in my hand a long time ago. Um, and now we're going to be drawing Brainstorm. And uh, whatever the four cards this gives us. Um, oh boy, okay. A lot of cantrips. They're at 11. This should be lethal. Um, we can just cantrip into the win. Oh yeah, this is, this is plenty lethal. Our opponent is deceased. Um, so no worries here. little excessive but let's just make sure that they're they're done okay about dragons don't be really like today I can see at least two problems with that title yeah 
Well, it's a fun title, that's for sure. Um, Sylvan Library, yeah, it's fantastic. Yes, please draw your cards. Um, okay. So filter out and thought seizes seem pretty good here. Um, Naya Depths is likely to have deafening silence, uh, especially in leagues. Dress down, not bad. Uh, I don't think that I want Shieldred. I don't think that I want, um, yeah, Joe, yeah, we're not playing LED, not at all. Um, I don't think I need Force of Negations. Force of Will is not bad. Orcish Bowmasters is actually kind of garbage uh, against the 1-2 Elvish Reclaimer and the 2020 Merit Lage. So probably not gonna bring that one in. Leyline of the Void, not really worth it. So I think it's just these three cards and uh, it's probably gonna be two rings and a uh, preordain. Mm. The one ring worked out really nicely. Um, I don't think that this is necessarily the matchup for it. Um, I don't know. Oh, great! Yeah, we're having we're having a bunch of fun. Uh, we're playing Peer into the Abyss Storm, and we're playing the One Ring. Uh, so let's see. I think that this is what I want. The other option is to like play all of the one rings and just cut the preordains. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go with this. Collector Oof is a thing that this deck plays. So you know, the one ring is not at its best. Um, this is going to be a keep. I'll keep this. Hmm. All right. Wooded foothills and pass. Oh, excellent. I would love a fetch land that gets me a basic swamp right now. Nope, but force of will is interesting. I have to preordain here. I think that I don't want to hold up force. Um, dark ritual and island. Uh, island's not bad. Dark ritual means that I can actually burn a lotus petal to cast this Thoughtseize. Um, I feel like... Um, so, ramping into peer, that's the idea, but I don't have a peer yet. Um, <clears throat> okay, hear me out. This island is doing nothing for us. I'm gonna bottom the island and top the dark ritual. And because I've found additional mana ramp, I'm actually going to pedal out a Thoughtseize. Uh, this might be a little aggressive, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Red Elemental Blast, Green Sun Zenith, and Crop Rotation. Uh, no, Wish Claws, nope. We have 12 Cantrips and four Peer Into the Abysses. I'm gonna take this Green Sun Zenith. They can Crop Rotation, that's fine. Um, and the red elemental blast. I'm done casting my blue spells right now. This force of will does not have a blue pitch card, so I think it's fine. Pacifica, maybe now LED will be changed. Yeah, maybe. I doubt it, but Commander has jacked the prices up of everything. It's really unfortunate. Okay, Sajiri so step, their tap land. Um, Ottawara, that is, well, it's going to be the reason that they crop rotate for a wasteland, but I think that that's fine. <clears throat> if they're crop rotating for a wasteland, uh, for whatever reason, then they're not doing that to, uh, oh, okay, dark depths. Well, never mind. Uh, 
Uh -huh. That's very, very nice. Our opponent is a little bit choked on the fact that their green and red source both exist in this wooded foothills. So if they crop rotate right now, I can force it and they can't red elemental blast me. Um, green Yoda, Yoda dude, uh, we tried last round. We tried targeting our opponent with peer and then... Um, Oh, well, our opponent recognized that. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping that they were going to crop rotation. That's too bad. Uh, we tried to um, target our opponent and then finish them off with tendrils, but it ended up not working out for us. So that's too bad. Two for two, kind of, yeah. Okay, well... Now they can blast the brainstorm, and I'm kind of incentivized. Oh well. They're not using the crop rotation. I think that that's bizarre. Um. Hmm. Okay, another thespian stage. So what I'm going to do is try to bait out a red elemental blast, which they didn't even do. Our opponent is making some interesting plays, uh, that's for sure. Okay, we didn't find an action spell, which is a little unfortunate. Uh... Okay, so they are doing things properly, I guess. I, I have to force this. And then they have the red elemental blast. And then... Yeah. All right. Well, this does look like an L for the second game of the match, but... Ottawa rotting in my hand, or in the on the battlefield. Um, I think that I needed to do that, but that's okay. Um, no ban list legacy. Uh, yeah, it's called vintage. Um, you can do whatever you want there. Almost whatever you want. Okay. Um, I think that I'm okay with everything that I did. We just didn't end up getting there. Our opponent made some interesting plays. They ended up being very correct. So they might know more about this than I do. Um... I like this hand. Okay. I'm going to keep this. I am going to Thought Seize them on turn one. Um, and I'll do that off of a basic swamp. Maybe I want to... Hmm. Do I want to ponder right now? I'm not wor really worried about anything but a, or a deafening silence, and I have the answer to deafening silence. Maybe I can just ponder here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, another ponder. Great. Um, more mana. Don't have anything to do with the mana yet, but that will come eventually. Okay. Uh, Gray, what are you talking about? Luris of the Dream Den? Uh, or, Zer well, like, I don't know. That's actually probably not, it's not banned in, in vintage anymore. Ah, okay. Shoot. 
That's fine. We have the answer to it. I literally did say that I have the answer to it. Um, peer into the abyss. Okay. We have the answer to the deafening silence and a route to victory and a force of will. Okay. I'm pretty okay with this. Um, Gray, I'm curious, what is the card that's banned in every format? That's not like anti-cards or um, the uh, dexterity cards. Shaharzad. Oh, yeah. Nah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Elvish Reclaimer is fine. Okay, and we have the Lotus Petal or the Pier of the Abyss? Ah, it's the Pier of the Abyss. That's fine. Um, let's thought seize them. Because I'm not going to be able to do that for a little while. Um, ooh, interesting. Okay, so let's take the... So they only have two... Nardolphin, hello. Welcome. We're in round five, and I'm figuring out a thought seize. I think it's going to be this crop rotation. Um, but this green sun zenith is tempting. No, no, no. They have a crop rotation right here. So that's silly. Yeah, let's do the green sun zenith. Okay. The top of my deck is a Lotus Petal. Um, now I can force something. Uh, no worries. You don't need to be on time for anything. There's no time. You're just here. Uh, no specific time. I just start and anybody can roll in whenever they want. <clears throat> okay. Triad Arbor. That's fine. Let's play this Lotus Petal. This will give us Filter Out. Um, at the end of their turn, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay, so this is four, five, six, so, so we will have threshold. Um, so that's five, six, seven. We'll have enough to peer. So they get rid of the dryhead arbor and they get the flagstones. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why they're going with a fair plan. Um, there's the Dark Depths. I would like to force something here, but that doesn't look like it's happening. So let's filter out. Oh, I wouldn't want to force here. That's silly, because I wouldn't be able to filter out then. And are they... So if they crop rotation now, they're really smart. Okay. Because we know that it's going to resolve. And they can hit a bog, and that's going to delay everything. Oh, they don't. They hit a wasteland. That's tough. And now they can hit a bog. <laughs> or not. Okay. Land? Pier into the abyss. Not quite. Okay. Um, I'm going to force the uh, Deafening Silence on the way back down. <clears throat> so 
let's force that. I just need a black source. That's all I need. Black source for the win and prevent them from killing us. How about that? There we go. And it's not a land, so I can still hit my land drop. Here into the abyss. What does it look like, opponent? The abyss is dark, but it does, does have things to say. 23 cards. Hey, Angus, how are you doing? Say hey. All right. Sorry, opponent. I was dealing with cat. Now I will continue to combo out and kill you. Just make sure. Uh, yeah, they didn't activate for bog. I have no idea why. Um, it boggles the mind. Now they're now they're doing it. Interesting. Well, now it doesn't matter. Okay. Very surprising here, but that's fine. I will. Brainstorm. Okay. Brainstorm didn't find much of anything. I would have liked a Thoughtseize here. There's only one more, but, you know, uh, I'll take the tendrils. Exactly 10 drills. Look at that. Count it. We've got a positive record and nice 3 2, a nice trophy. 100 play points, a little QP. That's pretty good. I enjoyed this league. Let's do, actually, before we do a deck breakdown, let's actually open up that chest and see what's inside. How about that? It's gonna be down here at the bottom. Let's open one of these. And how did we do? Uh, Hero Blade Hold and Siphon Sil Sliver. Eh, five play points. Not the greatest chest ever. But that's not really the reason why we do all of this. The reason is because I got to cast the One Ring in Orcish Bowmasters and win with Peer into the Abyss. And that's a super fun thing to do. All right. Let's talk about the goods and then we'll talk about the bads. We just mentioned it. We get to resolve Peer into the Abyss and we get to do so with Force of Will in our deck. Super fun time. Um, the One Ring is just an absolutely powerful card in every format that it is seeing play. Legacy who, um, just really solid card. Is this the right place for it? No, probably not, but we could, and we did. Um, this could be a lot more um, suited elsewhere, and there are other things that could work out well here in this spot like other blue cards because if you want to count these our blue count for force of will is not great um which is fine it doesn't need to be fantastic but it is lacking um so yeah the one ring was very mid for the entire league i liked two tendrils of agony a lot we are not a tutor deck we are reliant on Peer into the Abyss to draw our deck, and having two of them means that, odds are, one of them is in half of the deck. So that works out really nicely. Um, the One Ring is slow for Legacy. It is good. Uh, I think the control decks are going to pick it up, and it works out really well there. And it was actually surprisingly good in the, um, the World Gorger Dragon combo deck that I played last week. Um, Oh, speaking of last week, actually, let me let me actually set the record straight. We were talking about Orcish Bowmasters, um, and we were arguing or having a discussion um, how uh, to tell which army the orcs were from. Were they Sauron's 
um, Sauron's orcs or Saruman's orakai. And you can't see it on here. However, on the shin guard of one of the orcs is the white hand of Saruman. Now, not every orakai that worked for Saruman, fought under Saruman, had the white hand. But there were no orcs that wore the white hand that didn't fight for Saruman. So I was wrong. I thought that these were Sauron's orcs. These are actually Saruman's orcs. So unfortunately, I have to do a little bit of a redaction and I didn't find this actually. My partner who is obsessed with Lord of the Rings did a deep dive and she was like really into this and um, found out that the uh, orcs were from Saruman's army. Anyway, the One Ring is fantastic. Orcish Bowmasters is probably better. This is where I was going. Orcish Bowmasters is probably better for Legacy. Um, and we're having them in the sideboard. Maybe it's just, eh, swap them. That's just fine. Um, but I think that it's going to be probably not at its greatest here. I was talking about it in the deck tech. The best card against us is Orcish Bowmasters and Narset. And Orcish Bowmasters is the perfect foil for an opposing Bowmasters. It's not the perfect foil for Narset, which was a major problem in our league. We had this Ottawara that we could have drawn to, and we had some Bowmasters that were eventually going to potentially get there because they activated the Narset twice. So it was at one, but it wasn't um, it wasn't great. Um, Shieldreds I liked as a sideboard juke. Uh, we didn't get to do too much. It actually worked out fine, but didn't quite do everything we wanted. I think that what we really need is more removal. Um, filter out as the only removal spell other than the Ottawara that we've mentioned is okay but we can't just rely on force of will and dress down to deal with the permanents that we have problems with. So force of will, obviously great for stack interaction. The thoughts eases in the sideboard, great for stack interaction. We struggled a little bit against non-creature permanents. Um, deafening silence, we had the filter out for. That was great, but we drew the one of. It was, it was in our opening hand, so we planned around it. But um, I think that there are better builds to this that can deal with those non-creature permanents better. And that means a change in the sideboard. Maybe these Bowmasters aren't here and we have four slots for things like um, Echoing Truth or Chain of Vapor or things like that. And then we also have potentially four slots in the main board uh, the one ring is incredible, uh, but this is really not the spot for it. It was very dirtily and it didn't really do the whole bridging the gap between the beginning of the game and the middle to end of the game like we wanted it to. Maybe that was just something that we didn't see in this league, but if we want, we can get rid of these four slots or maybe just two and you have two slots that can be blue cards, that can be um, thought seizes or duresses or something like that, that have more synergy with the deck as a whole. I think that that's a good way to go as well. But without further ado, thank you very much for coming out and hanging out with me. I really enjoyed this. Uh, we had a 3-2 record to end the, the, the evening with, which was fantastic. I think that this deck overperformed. Uh, when I was testing, I actually fizzled on two to three peer into the abysses because I just never drew a land or a lotus petal. So really glad that that didn't happen this time. I will see you next week. Be looking out for a poll on Thursday morning for the options of the decks that I'm going to be playing. It was really close today. Turbo Smog almost won out. Maybe we'll get to play that next week. I don't know. It'll all be up to you the viewers. So you'll have four options and then we will we'll vote to figure it out. Until then, I'll see you around.